Cracking the code of future perfect tense. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to another exciting episode in our English grammar series. Today, we'll delve deep into a time-traveling tense, the future perfect tense. Let's journey together into the realm of actions that will be completed at a certain point in the future. Future perfect tense is used to talk about actions that will be completed by a certain point in the future. In essence, it allows us to look back from a future point and see something as completed or finished. The structure of future perfect tense is positive. Subject plus will have plus past participle of the verb. Negative. Subject plus will not have plus past participle of the verb. Question. Will plus subject plus have plus past participle of the verb? For example, I will have finished my homework by the time you come. Positive. She will not have arrived by 8 o'clock. Negative. Will they have completed the project by next week? Question. Future perfect tense is used when we want to express. 1. An action completed before another future event. For instance, by the time you wake up, I will have prepared breakfast. 2. A certain time in the future by which an action will be completed. For example, I will have graduated by next year. Remember, the action that will be finished is always the one linked with, will have, and not necessarily the one mentioned first. The future perfect tense can sometimes be tricky to master. Here are some common mistakes. Misordering the structure. It's always, will have, plus the past participle. Incorrect. I will finish the task. Correct. I will have finished the task. Using future perfect where simple future is needed. If there's no specific time or event in the future by which an action will be completed, use simple future. Incorrect. I will have gone to the market. Correct. I will go to the market. That wraps up our deep dive into the future perfect tense. With practice and understanding, you'll soon be mastering this fascinating aspect of English grammar. Remember, English is a journey, not a destination. Keep practicing, stay curious, and keep your love for learning alive. Until next time, happy language learning.